Here are three things I liked about X-Men 97, episodes 1 and 2. Number 1, themes. X-Men 97 is probably one of the most anticipated shows coming from Marvel Animation, and it comes in with a huge wave of nostalgia from a passionate fan base from the original series. So what stood out to me about these first two episodes is how the storytelling gets right into how the characters are trying to navigate and recalibrate to new dynamics and the status quo after Professor Charles Xavier has been assassinated. The story is in media res. It's in motion and doesn't take a lot of time to move forward. The theme of finding one's place and its reflection as one's identity is familiar to X-Men fans, so the show re-ups these relatable themes. Specific character arcs reflect these themes as seen as Cyclops, trying to navigate his leadership role while discussing his future plans with Jean Grey to raise a family. The show helps us to see the difficult position that Cyclops is in without minimizing his strengths or appeal. We want to see this relatable hero overcome his obstacles, which creates the audience buy-in the filmmakers need for us to connect emotionally with the show. Number 2, Magneto. The big twist at the end of episode 1 is that Magneto reappears as the new leader of the X-Men, as determined by the last will of Professor X. This is a smart writing move because it creates immediate tension and sources of conflict within the cast of characters. Dramatic questions are raised. Can the X-Men trust Magneto? Does he have another agenda? And what's happening between him and Rogue? One of the classic writing principles is to build scenes around characters who have conflicting goals because they want to get each other to do something or to give something to them, whether it's something emotional, physical, mental, or verbal. So much of the tension in the scenes with Magneto comes from Cyclops, and other X-Men who mistrust him. They want to get Magneto to reveal his true motives or give them assurance that he is a trusted ally. This makes Magneto a very important character in the story moving forward. Number 3, Relationships. As in the original comics and the movies, relationship dynamics have always been the heart of the X-Men. And some of the strongest scenes are between Cyclops and Jean Grey, as well as Magneto and Rogue. These dynamics between men and women are engaging and heartfelt, and we see further insight into how the characters are thinking through their interactions. For Cyclops, Jean Grey is a different voice, who can lovingly challenge his perspective. The same goes for Magneto, who finds compassion from Rogue, while the other X-Men keep him at a distance. If the show can continue to mine the rich relationships among its main characters, this will be a treat for fans in future episodes. Thanks for watching this video, and please let me know if you have any suggestions for other movies, series, and games to analyze. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below on what you think about these episodes.